let's explore place value of whole numbers and decimals. To start, we'll bring in a number, a big number, which has a decimal in it. And this decimal acts as a divider between the whole parts of a number to the left of the decimal and the fractional parts of the number to the right of the decimal. Imagine for a second that you had a dollar coin and half a dollar coin. Well, the whole part would be to the left of the decimal, and the half part would be to the right of the decimal, and so the decimal separates the dollars from the cents. In this case, a dollar fifty. So the decimal divides the whole part of the number from the fractional part of the number, but each digit also occupies a specific place in the number. Let's start to the left of the decimal place. The 1 occupies the 1's place. The 3 occupies the 10's place. And the 5 occupies the 100's place. To the right of the decimal, the 2 occupies the 10th's place. And the 4 occupies the 100th's place. Note that words ending in S represent positions to the left of the decimal place, and words ending in THS represent positions to the right of the decimal place. So what we end up with is corresponding pairs on either side of the decimal. For example, the tens match with the tenths, and the hundreds with the hundredths. Now you might be asking, why is there no once column? To understand that, we need to look at the value of the digits in the number. To get the value of the digit in the ones column, we multiply by 1, in the tens column by 10, and in the hundreds column by 100. On the other side of the decimal, we do the opposite. To get the value of the tenths digit, we divide by 10, and the hundredths digit, we divide by 100. Now let's consider any number, for example, the number 8. If we multiply it by 1, we end up with 8. And if we divide that number by 1, we end up with 8. So regardless, if we multiply by 1 or divide by 1, we end up with the same number. So multiplying by 1 and dividing by 1 give you the same value. Therefore, the 1's column and the 1's column are really the same thing. In other words, the ones and the ones column occupy the same place and have the same value. Now let's fill in some other places and values. The seven occupies the thousandths place. The six occupies the thousandths place. And they're another corresponding pair. To get the value of the sevens digit, we multiply by a thousand. And to get the value of the six digit, we divide by a thousand. All right, let's now fill in the rest of the places, and we can fill in the rest of the values. So we've got hundred thousands, millions, ten millions, hundred millions, etc. Now, another way to get the value of the tenth digit is to multiply by one over ten. It's the same as dividing by ten. So for the hundredth digit, multiply by one over a hundred. And for the thousandths digit, multiply by 1 over 1,000. So for our 10 thousandths digit, dividing by 10,000 is the same as multiplying by 1 over 10,000. And we can pair up our 10 thousandths digit with our 10 thousandths digit. We also like to put digits to the left of the decimal in groups of three, the hundreds, the thousands, and the millions. So now let's show our number in expanded form. The 8 is multiplied by a hundred million because it occupies the hundred millions column. The 6 is multiplied by 10 million because it occupies the 10 millions column. And we follow the same process for the rest of the digits in our number, ending with the 8, which is multiplied by 1 over 10,000 because it occupies the 10 thousandths column. And when we do the calculations, we can see the position of each of our digits in our number based on place and value. Now let's write our number out in words. It would be 
because those digits occupy the millions group, 907,000, because those digits occupy the thousands group, 531. The decimal means and. And then we say 2,468 ten thousandths. We write the place value of the last digit. Okay, to sum up, each digit in a number has a place and a value. As we move from right to left, the value of a digit's place increases by a multiple of 10. The digits to the left of the decimal are grouped in threes. The names of the decimal places of a number end in THS. And the names of the whole places of a number end in S. And there you go. Thanks for watching.